<laughs> that scared me. Am I usually on this side? Yes, you're usually on this side. Hi, it's Logan and Sarah. They're running around parks, eating churros. Dole Whip. We had some Dole Whip. Some Beverly. Thanks, guys. To so go to the cool zone. Take a shot. Take the, it's a, they were shooting <laughs> buckets. No, I took two shots at <laughs> oh, the same time. Oh, You go, get a bucket. <laughs> And just <laughs> on your partner's face. Yeah. It's weird when you call me your partner. <laughs> so you partners in business, uh, well. Daddy partner. Yeah. A lot of you are relating to our relationship either through long distance relationships. Or just relationships being or, difficult. Or just that you're in a relationship and we are yeah. too. Uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to take some not really questions because we're not experts. Definitely don't yeah. do everything right, and nor did we do everything yeah, right. Yeah, and we never fight, ever. Stop! <laughs> we made it though! Yeah. We're here! Yeah, here we are. So, <clears throat> we wanted to go through questions, comments, things like that, just so you can get, get to know a little bit more about us. Without further ado, let's just, let's just kick it off. Should we start with a deep one? <laughs> this one's easy. This okay. one's like a nice little intro. Marcy Paula Alavesos? Alavesos? You sound, uh, you sound Spanish. She said, how did how did you like having a long-distance relationship before moving down to Florida? Well, I don't think anybody ever likes a long-distance relationship. I don't think anybody's ever in a long-distance relationship and goes, This is great! This is the best idea I've ever had. I think people who like a long-distance relationship are probably shouldn't just be shouldn't be together. <laughs> because that probably means that they don't want to see each other, or they're totally fine seeing each other like once a month. It was really hard. It was really difficult, especially for me. I'm a very emotional, like, I, like cuddly person. I'm never emotional. <laughs> we kind of made a decision from the beginning that we would always put each other's individual goals before our relationship. It actually helps the relationship grow stronger because when you really care more about the person than you do about the relationship itself, we both had really strong individual goals when we met. So because we had really strong individual goals, we had a really hard time saying that, well, we should just really make everything about our relationship right now. You know, Sarah was really focusing on her work. Mm -hmm. I was moving to New York to be an actor. We really needed each other's support my whole life. I didn't think I'd ever meet anybody as emotionally charged and passionate as myself. And so meeting you, I, I think from the beginning, we knew I knew I wasn't gonna find anybody else like you. I think with people like us, it's either gonna be really great or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and believe me, there are times where it's, where it's not easy. Yeah. Dating this guy. Or this one. Especially. Are you gonna say especially mean? No, I'll say especially when you leave your garbage next to the toilet. I'm trying to think of something <laughs> that you do wrong, but I can't think of anything. I never do anything wrong! I can't think of anything that you do wrong! <laughs> Watch, it's gonna be something really deep and I'm gonna offend you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? What? Oh, yeah? Well, you're ugly! <laughs> Wait. Well, no, you don't make me emotionally happy. <laughs> <laughs> like we have a little trash can next to the toilet. When she does her face or cleans her ears, instead of going in the trash, she just kind of goes. She goes. Ah. <laughs> eh. When you said that, I was like, I don't do that. And then the other day, I was cleaning my ears. Mm -hmm. and I just went. Eh. And I was yeah. like, did it land in the garbage? And it did land in the garbage. So. What? <laughs> 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 What is your favorite quality and thing about each other? First of all, and I've explained this before, when I met Sarah, she was the most beautiful girl in the room. She was sitting in the front row in a theater of 2,000 people. And a lot of people were like, well, you shouldn't base a relationship off of looks. My answer to that is, no, you shouldn't, but you should be very attracted to the person you're with. And she's made me a better person because of how hard she works uh, and how organized she is. Um, because those are qualities that I didn't really have when we met, so a lot of the great things I love about her are really kind of shrugged up on me. What do you like about me? Oh, <laughs> I like this. I love you. My favorite thing about you is actually kind of similar. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your calm demeanor and ability to relax and not get too stressed out. I mm. feel like we're, <laughs> we're two sides of the same coin and he's the relaxed side and I'm the like buzzy stressed out side. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like a delicious chocolate bar. <laughs> I'm the, I have pop rocks in my chocolate bar. Mm. <laughs> no, it's so good! It's so good! 
The reason why I'm such a good a good addition to her life no. is that I taught her <laughs> how to be lazy. Also, you're amazing because of humor and your arms. Sarah and I uh, are 10 years apart, so we're just gonna I, we're gonna say I'm putting it out there. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're 10 years apart, which was also weird in the beginning. Uh, it's still weird sometimes. It's still weird. Yeah, because she doesn't know a lot about in sync. Um, I don't know a lot about. Veggie tails. Veggie tails. Duck tails meets in the middle though. Yeah, but duck tails is right there. So <laughs> duck tails is, is where. Well, that's where we bond. Yeah. About a child. Um, but yeah, since we're ten years apart, I always tell Sarah that the reason why we're working out is because she didn't know me ten years ago. <laughs> because I, not that I was a bad person or anything. I just think that I don't know about all men, but at least for me, like it's it took a long time for me to mature in a way that is conducive to a long distance and a long term relationship. I'll never forget. I mean, I owe Sarah. My Laritha asked how life has changed since we settled in Florida. Oh, well, that's, that's a good one. It's been great. Yeah. Um, when I was offered the job here, originally I was, we were, we were like, oh great, here we go again, we're moving apart. Now that we've been here a while. It's awesome. We love it. It's so nice. It still hasn't really rubbed off on us yet that like we're together all the time. Right. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Just, <laughs> yeah. that's what I need to do with that. I, One of those moments where you go, ah, oh. <laughs> you don't love me anymore. I love you very much. Moving on. Favorite memory together. Favorite memory together. From Maddie Vivian. We just went to Italy. To... Yeah. Oh yeah, that was. I think that was my favorite memory. But it wasn't just us. It was like the first time I got to spend a lot of quality time with Logan and his family and his family's kids. It felt like just whole. Right. That was my favorite. That was my favorite memory. Just like. You know, sitting overlooking like Italian wine country and the, the Alps are in the background and you're just sort of sitting and enjoying the people you love and like that's and we have those moments together but when you really have a an opportunity to like let that all sink in it's a good moment in life yeah felt very alive Lindsay she's a family friend um, she asked, what light bulb perspective moments did you have at your highest highs and lowest lows about yourself the other person is a couple Deep questions. That's really deep. In the five years we've been together, I, I, I had some difficult times because when we first met, I was going through like a really a big life moment of like, do I want to continue being an actor? And that creates a lot of stress on your life when you're, especially like when you're just getting out of your 20s, you're not really happy personally, and I had a lot of stress. And then when you actually go, hey, I'm gonna chase my dream, I'm gonna go for it, it's not easy at first. Because right, right, when you decide you're gonna do it, I moved to New York with two suitcases, enough rent to pay for one month, so I had to get a job and get moving, and just that whole time, it was just very stressful. Having a person that you love being with you sometimes, not with you, it definitely was uh, the most difficult period of my life. It's become the most rewarding period of my life because I focused a lot on having depression and things like that and finding a way to not only deal with it on my own, but how to have a successful relationship dealing with things that have happened in your past. And since we've both been really honest about those things, it's just really it's made me a better person by far, it's made our relationship stronger too. Mm -hmm. Being really honest with the person you love, it's really hard and it's scary sometimes to like lay it all out on the table for someone, but it's also the most rewarding when you get that love and support back. And like I said a little bit ago, Sarah like really saved my life, I think, in a lot of ways. I mean, not that I would have fallen off the face of the earth. I'm infinitely happier now than I ever thought I could be, so thank you. I think those tough moments for both of us, we both have them. Right. Those really tough moments are hard. They also reveal more about yourself and um, about the other person and mm -hmm. as much of those uncomfortable dark things that you can pull up and have the other person hold with you, the stronger your relationship on top of just being attracted to each other, the stronger that universal love is for the other person. I think people get scared sometimes when something really hard is happening or if somebody's going through a crisis, like their partner's going through a crisis. I think people get scared because they're like, well, how am I gonna handle this? I don't, I can't deal with this side of that person. And that's, and when we really just embrace those sides of each other, you never regret it. It's definitely hard, but you never say, oh, I really regret 
really helping the person that I love the most through something difficult because not only has she helped me through difficult times, but it's like it's made it so I will never forget that and I'll always carry that like that respect and that appreciation. I try to remind myself every day how lucky I am. I think gratitude in, in life in general is like it's important uh, to, to re remind yourself every day. And that makes the highest highs uh, even better and well, the happiest times even stronger because you know what you have. When people look at us when we do these Disney videos, <laughs> people are like, oh, you're, you know, you guys are having such a great time. And, and I mean, it's, even in those kind of situations, it's like the reason why we have genuine moments is because we try to enjoy every single day that we have. You know, sometimes it's, it's fun to just go out and do something you would never do. And skip around Main Street in Disney World and like eat crappy food. You should eat crappy right. food. We're very, we're also, we're also healthy. Of, yeah, on top of eating crappy food at Disney World, most of the time we're very health conscious and yeah. we work out a lot and we eat health foods right. during the week, but like weekends. I only eat churros for two out of my three meals a day. <laughs> so, Monday through Friday. Moving on. <laughs> unique New York, unique New York. You know you need 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 New York. You know 